Information Security Unit 1 for RGPV exam notes are in comment section. What is information security? Information security is the practice of protecting important information from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, disruption, modification, or destruction. This can include things like personal data, financial information, business plans, or government secrets. The critical characteristics of information that need to be protected are 1. Confidentiality. This means keeping sensitive information private and only accessible to people who are authorized to see it. 1. For example, you might keep your bank account information confidential by not sharing it with anyone except your bank. 2. Integrity. This means making sure that information is accurate and trustworthy. 2. For example, you might check your bank statement to make sure that all of the transactions are correct and that there are no mistakes or fraud. 3. Availability. This means making sure that information is accessible when it's needed. 3. For example, you might make sure that your bank's website is available when you want to check your account balance. 4. Authenticity. This means making sure that information is genuine and comes from a trusted source. 4. For example, you might make sure that an email from your bank is authentic by checking the sender's email address and looking for signs of phishing or other scams. 5. Non-repudiation. This means making sure that someone cannot deny that they sent or received information. 5. For example, you might use a digital signature to sign a contract and make sure that it cannot be altered or denied later. Effective information security measures must address all of these critical characteristics of information in order to provide comprehensive protection for sensitive data and information systems. This might include things like using passwords to control access to information, using encryption to protect information during transmission, or using firewalls to block unauthorized access to computer networks. NSTISSC NSTISSC stands for the National Security Telecommunications and Information Systems Security Committee. It is a committee that was formed by the U.S. government to oversee information security for national security systems. The NSTISSC security model is a framework that helps organizations to implement effective information security measures. It is based on three key principles. 1. Confidentiality. This means keeping sensitive information private and only accessible to people who are authorized to see it. 1. For example, you might keep your password confidential by not sharing it with anyone except the authorized personnel. 2. Integrity. This means making sure that information is accurate and trustworthy. 2. For example, you might make sure that a report is accurate and reflects the actual data. 3. Availability. This means making sure that information is accessible when it's needed. 3. For example, you might make sure that a website is available when you want to access information. The NSTISSC security model has four components. 1. Policy. This component includes the policies and procedures that are used to define and implement information security measures. 1. For example, an organization might have a policy that requires all employees to use strong passwords. 2. Education and training. This component includes the education and training that is provided to employees and other personnel to help them understand and implement information security measures. 2. For example, an organization might provide training on how to recognize phishing scams. 3. Technology. This component includes the hardware, software, and other technical measures that are used to implement information security measures. 3. For example, an organization might use firewalls to block unauthorized access to their computer networks. 4. Operations. This component includes the ongoing monitoring, maintenance, and assessment of information security measures. 4. For example, an organization might conduct regular security audits to identify and address vulnerabilities in their information systems. To secure the components of an information system, organizations can take a variety of measures, including 1. Controlling access to information. 
This might include using passwords, access controls, and other measures to limit who can access sensitive information. 2. Encrypting data. This means using software to scramble data so that it cannot be read by unauthorized individuals. 3. Backing up data. This means creating copies of important data so that it can be restored in the event of a data loss or other disaster. 4. Monitoring for threats. This means using software to monitor computer networks for signs of unauthorized access, malware, or other threats. Securing the components. Securing the components of an information system is important to protect against unauthorized access, modification, and destruction of data. Here are some ways to secure the components. 1. Hardware. This includes computers, servers, and other devices. 1. To secure hardware, physical security measures can be implemented, such as locks, security cameras, and access controls to restrict who can access the devices. 2. Software. This includes operating systems, applications, and utilities. 2. To secure software, updates and patches should be applied regularly to fix known security vulnerabilities. 2. Firewalls and antivirus software can also be used to protect against malware and other threats. 3. Data. This includes all types of information that is stored, processed, or transmitted. 3. To secure data, access controls can be implemented to limit who can access the data. 3. Encryption can also be used to protect data when it is being transmitted or stored. 4. Network. This includes all the devices and connections that allow for communication between devices. 4. To secure the network, firewalls and other security measures can be implemented to block unauthorized access. 4. Regular monitoring and testing can also help identify vulnerabilities and potential threats. Balancing security and access. While it is important to secure the components of an information system, it is also important to balance security with access. Here are some ways to balance security and access. 1. Role-based access. This means granting access to data and systems based on the user's role or job function. 1. This helps to ensure that users only have access to the data and systems they need to perform their job. 2. Training. Providing training and education to users can help them understand the importance of security and how to use systems and data securely. 3. Monitoring. Regular monitoring of systems and data can help identify potential security issues and ensure that security policies are being followed. 4. User feedback. Gathering feedback from users can help identify areas where security measures may be too restrictive and hindering productivity. 4. This can help to find a balance between security and access.